I, I, the only question I can think of, Jay, is how can people prepare for what's about to come? Yeah. So that's if you're a real estate investor, like what? Would yeah, that's a good question. So how should a real estate investor prepare? Well, first of all, you're going to need to know exactly how the foreclosure process works in your state. Now my foreclosure system works in any state. The letters work in any state. Uh, how closely you mail them together will vary from state to state and the tracking uh, that we do and how we get up with these people before other real estate investors even know about these opportunities to serve uh, that works in every state, but the timeline differs state to state. Now what I did, uh, when I was preparing myself to enter into the foreclosure business is I hired my local real estate attorney, uh, sat down with my real estate attorney. And I said, look, assume I don't know anything about the foreclosure process in the state of North Carolina, which was pretty much the truth. I didn't know that much about it. And I said, walk me through the entire process. So I'm going to encourage anybody that's interested in the foreclosure business and doing it the way we do it. You want to do that. You want to hire your, uh, you know, your real estate attorney to walk you through the process step by step. I mean, for example, one big mistake that new real estate investors make is there might be a bid at the courthouse on this property and it would be like super, super low. Well, you never want to uh, place any kind of bid on a property or buy a property, even from someone that's in foreclosure until you have had a title search done by, um, your, um, your closing agent, your real estate attorney, and make sure that you are buying the first mortgage and not a second mortgage. Cause guess what? If you're the winning bidder or you're buying, or you're buying the home and taking over payments from a seller and it's a second mortgage, guess what? You just inherited the first mortgage. And so that's a great big mistake that, you know, that everybody should uh, be aware of and avoid. So that's the first thing I'm preparing along with that is I say plug into doing the foreclosure business the way Carol Joy and I do it. How do you prepare? Well, first thing, just go watch the webinar and the training at the jconnor.com forward slash foreclosure webinar, go watch that webinar. And then any kind of questions, you know, there'll be a way for you to reach back out to us. Um, and uh, on the webinar, you'll learn about how you can get the letters, use the letters, the whole tracking uh, process. So uh, the first thing to do prepare is to get educated, right? And get educated by the right person. And again, we've been doing it uh, nonstop since 2004. Uh, even though there's been a stay over the past year on foreclosures, we still track them. I mean, a new foreclosure will come on the record, but it won't go through the process. So we've stayed on, on, uh, on top of it by still tracking every foreclosure, even though, you know, they've got a, they've got it on pause. So how do you prepare? Get educated. Also learn about private money because you'll need private money uh, at the, um, uh, if you buy it as a bank owned. So again, the, get, get my book, jconnor.com forward slash book. And uh, we'll ship, uh, ship that book out to you as well. So yeah, get educated. Awesome. Get educated, Scott, get educated. Get educated, get prepared, read the book, take the webinar, 